lot of hard work, and yes, they may learn English as a second language later on in life. So, but, but this Jim, whole this whole notion of well, they could learn, you know, they have to learn English before they get to the United States. Are we just going to bring in people from Great Britain and Australia? Jim, as actually, I have to honestly say, I am shocked at your statement that you think that only people from Great Britain and Australia would know English. It's actually, it reveals your cosmopolitan uh, bias to a shocking degree that in your mind, no, this is an amazing, this is an amazing moment. This is an amazing moment that you think only people from Great Britain or Australia would speak English is so insulting to millions of hardworking immigrants who do speak English from all over the world. Jim, have you honestly, Jim, have you honestly never met a, an immigrant from another country who speaks English outside of Great Britain and Australia? Is that your personal experience? Of course there are people who come But that's not what you said. And it shows, it shows your cosmopolitan bias. And I just want to it say... It like you're trying to engineer the I racial say, and ethnic flow of people into this country. Jim, this that is one of the most outrageous, insulting, ignorant, and foolish things you've ever said. And for you, that's still a really... The, the notion that you think that this is a racist bill is so wrong and so insulting. Jim, the reality is is that the foreign-born population into our country has quadrupled since 1970. That's a fact. It's been mostly driven by green card policy. Now, this bill allows for immediate nuclear family members to come into the country, much as they would today, and then it adds an additional point space system. The people who've been hurt the most, people people the people who've been, the people who've been, the people who've been, the people who've been hurt the most by the policy you're advocating, are what policy am I advocating? apparently just unfettered, uncontrolled migration. The people who've been hurt the most by the policy, the people who've been hurt the most by the policy that you're, the people who've been hurt the most by the policy you're advocating are immigrant workers and minority workers and African-American workers and Hispanic workers. Are you targeting the African-American no community now? You brought it up again. You said you wanted to have a conversation and not target. Is it going to be a target This is now? what we want to do. Using the African-American community, are you going to target? I'm not trying to be funny.